a sport of a different kind right now. Uh, joining me live in the studio, I'm very pleased to say, um, this afternoon, I hope I've got Lee Manning and Marty and Marty Jr. Cullen. Is that right, chaps? That's right, that's right. Uh, welcome to the studio. Listen, when I got this email kind of floating into my inbox uh, just a few days ago, I thought this is definitely summer Saturday material because I didn't even realise that there was a baseball league in the country, let alone in the local area. So I don't know who's going to start this afternoon, but tell us about the, the, local, the local state of baseball. Uh, well, basically, there's uh, 150 junior teams in the in the, in the whole country, and then there's about 50 adult teams, uh, north and south, sort of divided. Uh, in the south, we have the National League, which is the top league. Uh, then we have the Premiership, Division One, and then we actually now have a new Division Two as well. So it's the, the the sport as a whole is starting to grow quite big. I mean, it, uh, you know, it's it's still very much an American sport, isn't it? I mean, it's obviously been come over from America. I mean, I've noticed your accent. I haven't mentioned it before you guys have come on air. Are you American? I'm American. Yeah. yeah. How long have you lived in the UK? I've been here uh, 14 years. Okay, so yeah, you, haven't, you haven't lost yeah. your accent some, but, um, I yeah. mean... Uh, Martin was born here, so... Okay, fine, yeah. okay. So, But, I mean, have you always... Martin, how old are you? Nine. Nine. Have you always played baseball pretty much since you were knee-high? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so uh, baseball in the states is it yeah. the the number one sport? Uh, it's it's not rated the number one sport. American football is pretty much the number one sport, but it's uh, it's probably watched more than anything because it's it's a long season. They play near enough every day. A lot of local support everywhere. A lot of Come players. on, though, Mike. It's easy, isn't it? You just get a ball, th ball thrown at you, and you just whack it as hard as you can. Anyone can do that. Well, they, they said you were going to come down and have a go. So. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, <laughs> that's fatal to say <laughs> things like that, isn't it? Um, obviously, um, it, I suppose it's been difficult to kind of take a sport like that and introduce it into the UK. When did it first, do you know when it first kind of started coming over here? It's actually always been around since the beginning of the early 1990s. Oh, right. So, um, in fact, it was actually first played here and then the Americans took it over to America nah. and developed the sport. Really? I was going to try to avoid that whole point. Yeah. But yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, even like sort of rounders, you know, that's where baseball actually come from, was from rounders originally. So mm -hmm. um, it's always been around. Many years ago, they had uh, semi professional leagues over here and uh, professional leagues just before the war and stuff like that. So it has always been here. It's just uh, it's never been very popular. Well, get, let's get back to the league shortly, but let's talk about the specifics of baseball. I mean, is, the, the bat itself, is it a particular type of wood? You know, your cricket bats are made of a certain mm -hmm. type of wood. I mean, in, in, in baseball, is it is it wood, or do you use a metal uh, uh, bat? We don't use metal bats in, in our league. Uh, kids use uh, aluminum bats, uh, but we tend to use... I'm sorry, uh, you're not allowed to say <laughs> aluminum. <laughs> aluminum. Uh, you're not uh, allowed... Uh, aluminum it's, it's, bats. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and uh, uh, we have to use wooden bats now. Uh, so we use uh, all different types of maple, ash. Uh, so there's there's not one type of wood that makes a better baseball bat. Well, I, think, I, I prefer maple. Um, but yeah, a, a lot of the big leaguers use uh, ash bats, but right. obviously they swing a bat a lot harder than we do. So, but maple bats, the ball seems to jump off the bat a little bit more. And, and another thing, I think probably from experience of watching films and and you know just kind of getting baseball through that way rather than first hand experience, you pick up all the all the scuffing and all the the, the the verbals that go. I mean, is that part of baseball or is that just kind of accentuated by the media? Uh, no, that's a, that's a big part of the game. Uh, what's the whole scuffing thing? You, on the, you know, rubbing your foot along the floor. What's all that about? Well, you get a lot, the, the type of dirt that we play on. Yeah. You, you get all kinds of stuff stuck in your cleats and your and your spikes and things, and you're always hitting your feet with your bat or yeah, uh, you know that kind of thing. Keep keep them clear because you know it's important to be able to run properly and quick and. That's a that's a good thing. Yeah. How many people? How many um, players on a baseball team? Yeah, come on, yeah, the junior, yes, Marty Junior. Come on, move into the microphone a little bit, Marty. Well, on the field, there's nine. There's three outfielders. So that's when they're fielding, obviously. So the yeah, so when there's a yeah, okay, fine. So there's three outfielders. A catcher. There's a pitcher. Yep. First baseman, a second baseman, a shortstop, which is in between second base and third base. Right. And there's a third baseman. And there's a third baseman as well. Okay, so that's your... You know well, we've, I mean. got, uh, we've got 13, 14 on our team. You need, obviously, reserve players. And sure. Pitchers can only... You know, if we have, we play two games in a day, for example, generally we'll have a pitcher and then he'll sit out the next game or 
you know, because it's kind of tiring. So. so when you came here 14 years ago, I'm interested, yeah. um, did, did you actively seek out a, a, a baseball? I mean, was it something, or did you kind of fall into I, it? I didn't, yeah. I, I, about, I suppose it was seven years ago uh, I did, and I found these guys, and I played a half a season with them just uh, briefly, and then sort of moved on a little bit and just happened to run into them again a few months ago and, and rejoined the team. From a British person's point of view, I mean, how did you, wh wh what was your introduction to baseball? Uh, well, um, there's a local team literally just uh, five minutes down the road from me, right. so they were playing baseball and I just ended up sort of picking up a glove and, and joining in sort of thing. So it was really, like I said, it was only five minutes down the road, so it was really on my doorstep, so that's how I pretty much joined in. Is it confusing? Because, I mean, I've seen on, on all the, the, the scoring, it seems to be just like American football, which just blows my mind. I can't... I've all tried to get work out how it all works. There's so many stops and things yeah, happen and changes. Yeah. Well, what's baseball like to pick up as far as scoring? I, I suppose for an American, it's looking at cricket and thinking, how on earth does that yeah, work? Yeah, it's sort of similar. I mean, to be honest, once you... It's like riding a bike. Once you know how to score, you'll That's know it, how to do it for the rest of your life. It's something, something you're not going to forget. It's a lot of just abbreviations. So you have AB for at-bats, PA for plate appearances. And once you understand what they are, then, yeah, you're... They are absolutely rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, well, once you picked up all the abbreviations, it's it's just it's pretty simple to to kind of go for. And you talked about the junior league, so there's a the 150 junior league teams, teams, yeah, teams, yeah. That's across the country, not just in half. Yeah, that's yeah, that's across, across the country. country. But, I mean, that's still there's pretty impressive, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, they're, they're, yeah. Very. It, you, you'd be surprised how much baseball is actually played and how much um, how many diamonds there are uh, when you're driving around. Yeah. Well, I live in Milton Keynes, and I know Milton Keynes has a, 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 yeah. a, a diamond. Uh, That's right. Wolfton, I think. Wolfton on the ground. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah, seen, yeah. I've well, seen we, the diamond we've there. We've got them in a couple of weeks. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, let's talk about the local teams then, because it's quite interesting. Uh, am I right in saying that the, the match coming up is the first ever Hertfordshire derby? It's the Falcons, and let me tell you, I've been given a Falcons hat today. And you know, sometimes you get given hats. You're not listening to this. Sometimes you get given hats by people. It's very nice, and you say, thank you very much, thank you very much. You take them home, and they just go in the cupboard, or you give them away. This one is going nowhere, but staying with me. A very nice hat. You're the Falcons. With That's the Falcons. right, yeah. yeah. Or Falcons, yeah. <laughs> um, who are your rivals? Uh, the Hawks. The, uh, the Hawks are our other local team. They used to be called the Falcons too. It was, uh, we sort of had a split squad and they recently changed their name. And, and uh, Is there a, a huge amount of rivalry between... There is, isn't there? Look, yeah. you're, yeah, you're all smiling. <laughs> yeah, there is, yeah. Excellent. Yeah, a lot so, of trash talk going on. So a lot of trash talk. You, you, your, your league then, that league that the two teams, are, you're in, both in the same league, is that That's right? right? That's right.